LOL. Right, I've got a hopefully very useful guide for you. Um, just a record, I was going to do Merc Water, but um, because I need to light it up because it's very grey there, the lighting options we currently have make it look kind of shit because I need to use loads of it so you can see. However, because it's so bright, it looks really wank. However, in the next DLC, we are getting some new lighting options. So I'm going to hold off decorating Merc Water. You can maybe go back to Sanctuary and also another settlement. But in the meantime, I've got something I've been working on, which is how to decorate with junk and know whether it's going to fly everywhere or not. Now, I've always avoided decorating with junk because, as a lot of you know, it sinks through the tables, it flies everywhere, all crazy. I've got a test, basically, um, and also how you can test whether certain items will sink through the floor or will not. Right, so as I'm in Sanctuary right now, and I've got a load of junk everywhere um let me show you something here are some items this is the way i learned this was actually from my my shrine my little shrine that you saw in my automatron playthrough when it got trashed and while i was fixing it i realized why it got trashed it was actually vic's fault but not necessarily robo vic's fault it was because he knocked things over which is what i mean right so you see these items here on the same rug no it's what they're doing they are moving with the rug, right? What's this? Come here, Mr. Camera. Uh, boop. And just flop that there like that. Actually, it was a terrible idea. Oh, there we go. The, the, the water's the water still there. Notice anything? Probably a bat right here because I did go a little bit crazy with knocking those over. Let's go over here. Let's go to this table here. I'll knock one of the bottles over a little bit. So there we go. Coffee table attached. Nuka Cola. Let's just knock that on its side. Boop. Voila. The reason being is because. And you have to drop. Okay, so the way it works is you need to drop an item. Let's go. Um, junk. I dropped all of my aid. Let's just drop something with the aid thing. So let's drop some bubble gum and a dirty wasteland, right? So now I've dropped it. Now if I select this from the workshop menu, as a lot of you know, it's going to stand up and I can place it, right? That will be attached, right? However, the, um, those items over here that have now been placed in the workshop and then moved in some way outside of said workshop will not, right? It's a little bit weird logic which means now they're much harder to place so first things first if you want to drop an item you need to drop it from your menu and then it has to be placed within the workshop i'll give you an example right these items at the top here all this food has been placed via the workshop this stuff down here due to the fact that it's an absolute freaking nightmare to actually place something on these shelves on the lower side have been placed manually by my player notice they're not attached. Now that's your test, basically. Now I've tried this out. If an item is placed in the workshop, it will not fly around and it will not sink into the floor. However, if your annoying little robot Vic knocks the into them, it will then cease being attached via the workshop and then be liable to fly everywhere. So my advice is, if you are decorative junk, try and keep it in low traffic. So high up is a great example. These are why these shelves are really good. You know, I can pretty much just have my food in kind of a... Just so my characters can't knock into it. Or sideboards, it's fine, but just make it closer to the back. If you are going to have an item closer around where, where people might knock into it, just have a bigger item. Now, this obviously isn't ideal, but it should allow you guys to maybe start decorating with junk a little bit more confidently knowing what's going on. Now, a couple of tips that I've learned is for items like food, anything with a bit more of a wider bottom, because ultimately how stable the item is will actually infer how reliably it will stack. Make sure that they're not too packed. So you can't really pack things too close together. I could probably... You can probably get them quite close. Oh, one second. So if I... No. How about you select the Souls mistake, yo? If I get them quite close, especially for something like this, should be fine. But when I did it with bottles, they 
clinked a little bit, which meant every now and then one of them would fall through the floor when I came back. So you can do things like this. This opens up a whole new load of options. Now the reason why I want to do a guide on this also is one, because I, I was really chuffed with myself when I figured out this theory, but also because of the fact my videos are now episodic and then with a tour afterwards, minus Merkwater, it means I'm going to start decorating with junk when I do my tours because I don't have to, you know, spend 12 hours making a settlement that you don't see and then, you know, for a five minute video I can then just, you know, spend 12 hours making three videos and then spend a couple more, an extra hour decorating with junk in a settlement. So I hope you guys found that useful. Certain items, as I mentioned before, will not work very well. Jangles the Moon Monkey, it ain't gonna happen. New Coca-Cola bottles do not work, unfortunately, uh, because of the slightly weird shaped bottom. They don't sink, so you might be lucky I can walk into it. Um, you might be lucky. But anything like... So these items I have actually... Oh, and also, once they've moved, yeah. <laughs> it makes every other item move as well. Um, but items like this... Drugs... Most of the... Chems. Let me try with some of the jazz. I did try some of the ammo, which will make you laugh as well. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. So let's get... Oh, a bit low. Oh, that's not looking good. I actually completely ran out of Ultra Jet as well. Um, let's get some Psycho Buff as well. So, Jet should be fine, provided it's placed properly. You notice when I place it, it went, it kind of reset its position. Same with Jet as well. Jet was a bit unreliable when I had it too close to each other. However, ammo is hilarious. Well, I did it earlier when I tried to record this a second ago. Let's try something I don't have much of. And I did this before. But I'm wondering whether it was the size of the ammo I had. <laughs> I don't know why ammo does that. Basically, um, for whatever reason, <laughs> ammo does not want to place. I'm curious. Let's try something here. Oh yeah, of course, when you drop one, it drops a thing. Let's try... Let's try one mini nuke. Fusion cores work. Certain things... Basically, ammo boxes tend to be unreliable. But, um... Kind of shells tend to be okay. So, like mini nukes. You might find they work on... There we go, one second. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You see where it raised up like that? That's generally a signifier that it's might going to be a risky item to place. But often it does move, but I've still had items. Teddy bears are a, a wonderful example of this. One second, I need to move this shit off a sec. Let me get some space. So if I do the, the wee teddy... Oh, for fuck's sake. Come here, you. There you go, you little shit. If I do the teddy bear... Oh, he's not gone all pick him up again. It's it it's not an exact science and I'm still practicing. It says I wanted to I, I mentioned I teased this on Twitter the other day and I was like, right, well I have to kind of give what I've learned so far. See he does that. And I stop moving. And I fall through. But for example if I put him on a rug he tends to be okay. Which is weird. So it might also also be moves when I do that. So it's a bit complex. So my advice, if you want to decorate with junk, find stuff which you know will connect. And then once you've placed it, do the test. If you do the test, it is now fine. Check whether it moves there, because sometimes when you do this, items can move slightly. And they can get wobbly. So I hope you guys found that useful. I'm pretty chuffed with this theory. I'm going to try and refine it any kind of certain items that you've learned that don't work with this let me know hopefully this improves our decoration and generally kind of adding a bit more character to our settlements i have a theory for placing items on the floor that what i might do is anything that's big um, i'm going to put a small rug underneath it and then put it on the floor because that way my idea being that say something like a Mila or something, which is rather large, I can just put a small rug underneath and put that item on the floor and that should then allow it to stick to the item Alright guys, anyway, um, I'm going to do another video tomorrow, and then 
what day is it? Tuesday, so then Thursday, and then Saturday, Sunday. So you're going to be getting five videos a week from this period, and it will be only on those days unless there's a special occasion. All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.